Good morning. Uh, welcome back to Skipton. So, we're going to have another dig on here today. We've uh, caught up on all the videos, so this will be a brand new video filmed this week. Um, there's no backlog. Obviously, I, I will last week, so I didn't get a chance to get out and film anything. Um, came down with a spot of norovirus, whatever it were. So yeah, completely new video. Um, like I say, we're back on Skipton. We're going to hit that top end, just behind the compound wall. And we're going to see what comes out. I don't know if Ricky's coming on. Um, so it could just be me from the time being. Alright, let's stop chatting. I'll see you on the first bottle. Right. So I'll just take it tops off. I'll just move it forward a touch so you can see. Yeah, just take it the top off. Just add this rubber little pen rest ink. Nice early top, sorry. You're gonna focus. Come on, focus on this. Yeah, nice early top. Lovely aqua colour. It's a good sign. I've managed to bury my bag already. Oh, cacking there and all sorts. I, mean, I need to be careful where I'm chucking my ash. Right, anyway, let's get back at it. Right, all's taking shape now. You get a few finds. Uh, so far, it's pretty modern. So. I'm not going to put them on camera. Yeah, um, just want to take the time to say once again thank you to my subscribers. Um, last few weeks, I've had more subscribers than in a week than I've had normally. Like week to week, I normally get about three or four or five. Um, I got 20 last week. So, a little bit of a boom on the channel. I think it was because of them narrow neck cods. Um, that little railway tip I've been digging. Um, now, I've not been back there because I was obviously going to have a little do on here and see how much fresh is left. Um, a lot of people are saying it's dug out, but there's still little bits to be had. Nice interesting little finds, plenty of beer bottles everywhere if you're into that. Uh, they all seem to be the same supplier though, which is uh, either Fred Anderson or Wright Brothers of Skipson. I'm not too fussed for that, just have the nice little bits, poison bottles and whatnot. Yeah, so... There we go. Um, don't forget that the S is still, still live. Just added a whole new bit of shoe. Bit of leather shoe. Yeah, I've just added a whole new uh, stocking. Well, stocks. Um, in the form of bottle stoppers, like little, little gift bags. I've presented them in little Hessian sacks and whatever. With uh, done two sizes, I've done like a 10, 10 stoppers, glass and Vulcanite, or I've done five stoppers in a nice little gift bag. Um, they're up in the NC store, I've not charged too much for them. You can do whatever you want if you buy them. Uh, good for crafting, put them in like a, like a pin board or a, a deep frame. Um, any more news on the channel? So, I'm planning to do. A little bit of filming at the end of next week. Um, we're having a break from bottle digging. We're going to go to Leeds and we're going to have a look at a big round uh, around the big abandoned mill. If it comes to fruition, um, if it doesn't, then you'll see me bottle digging again. But that's yeah, so far that's the plan. We're going to go and do a bit of filming in an abandoned mill. Oh, it's tough going this. 
full of brick and rock and chunks of metal and all sorts. So, hopefully we're going to get something good out today. Back fill some of these holes that are knocking around. Uh, no sign of Ricky yet, so I assume he's not coming because he's usually here first thing. So it looks like a solo dig today. Yeah. I'm going to leave you up here in case I need to film anything else. Uh, yeah, it's got to crack on with this. Start shifting earth, try and get down a bit. Um, I want at least to be at least four or five feet today. If I can manage it, plenty of time. If not, we'll see what we can get. I'll see you on the next one. There you go, that's your next one. Peerless Goss. Hathaway's, made in the USA. Uh, now I think we've had one of these before, but it were it were cracked, and that's a lovely aqua colour. Nice example. Not a bad little bottle. Right, let's crack on. Oh my god, guys! Right, it's been a while since I get excited. I get excited over like nice poison bottles, massive bottles. But what's just come out? The very first one I've ever dug. Oh my god. And it's mint. Ginger beer. Anderton, Fred Anderton, Skipton. Ginger beer. Stamped. Just make it stamp there. There's a tiny little niggle at the bottom of the base there, but the lip's fine. <laughs> Oh, yes, come on. Oh, sorry. Fred Anderson trademark. My very, very first Doug ginger beer bottle. Awesome. Can't believe it. <laughs> right, I'm not going to waste any time chatting. I've got to get back in this hole. Right, I'm going to take you off that fence because it's going to be a bit of a pain running up and down for the camera. Especially I'm getting a little bit deeper now. Digging like my life depends on it. Now I find that ginger. I'm going to show you my next bottle. Right. Next one. Lovely green. Not to be taken. Six ounce. See how there's uh, Nice early one as well. Yeah, nice one that. Not to be taken. Look at colour. Lovely emerald green. Right. Let's crack on. Next one out. Another lovely aqua poisons. Nice early neck. Just says poison across the top there. We're doing all right. Right. Let's get cracking on. I don't know what you saw there. I've been. <laughs> I left camera running for about 11 minutes. So you'll have just see me back digging an hole. If there's anything decent, I'll keep it in, but if not, then uh, it's gonna have to go on the cutting room floor. Anyway. <sighs> Might be near the lunchtime soon. I'll see you in a bit. So, just as a bank of, bank of clay here. It's quite thick, so. I'm just going to get down through that. There's all sorts inside wall here. There's a sink and all sorts. It's just full, quite full of modern stuff at the minute in this top end. So I'm hoping this clay is just going to be like a cap. But once we dig through, we're going to get into another layer. But, uh, what I'm doing is I've got about six feet, I'm doing three feet down, jumping in, turning around, doing the other three feet, digging this out. 
then I jump back in and as you go deeper and deeper just work your way down um, if you're taking up this hobby and you've been watching videos and stuff don't worry if you go on a dig site and you see people like 15 foot down in the road it's daunting and you think god how am I ever going to do that just dig at your own pace A bottle. Getting loads of pieces of cod bottle out of the fall. Nothing, nothing whole yet. Yeah, just uh, just dig your own pace. Don't worry if you're not going to smash eight, nine foot, ten holes in. Let's get you, get your fitness up first. Get your holes dug nice and neat. See how mine's like nice and square, walls are straight. Just learn the basics and then as you go on, your depth will come. And you'll have confidence. I mean, first, the first year I went, I won't even go further than about three, four feet. So I was afraid of it collapsing in on me. And it did quite a few times up to knees. Luckily, it were only up to knees. Um, but yeah, like learning to dig in with people like Ricky and Gareth and that. You learn to watch right for. You learn how to dig the hole. You know, it's quite, a, it's quite good, really. If you have someone up there, take you out and whatever. I mean, I know everybody knows how to dig a hole, but there's digging a hole and then there's digging a hole. I'm like, obviously, if you get involved with people that know what they're doing, and they'll take you, take you out for tips, and you just learn from them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a good hobby, keeps you fit. Loads of birds out today, I've seen a few snipe around. Now there's loads of magpies and crows just turned up. Anyway, I'm gonna let I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering. And I'm gonna crack on. So that's the hole. We just uh just cut a step in that side so I can get in and I'm gonna chase it. This way, let's have a look at what we've had so far. Just a little recap, we're gonna have a sandwich, and then we're gonna get right back at it. So we've had a few few little bottles. We've had one of them, uh, Adolf, Adolf uh, Rommel's Hematogen bottle. We've had a poison, we've had a green poison. We had that lovely ginger beer. There you go. A bit of rust off there. The uh, American bottle, liquid zone, inks. I've just found this in my spoil pile, you know, like a little, it's like a little china ornament. We probably would have gone on a Christmas tree. Got a little bow around his neck. <laughs> a couple of ambers, a little sheer neck, a pipe. And a few stoppers. Yeah, uh, been at it about two hours now. We're about four feet down. Um, like I said, a bit of clay layer down there. So I'm going to go down another foot, see if I can get break through that clay layer. Um, and then I'm going to start heading this way, back up to this compound wall. Well, not right up to the compound wall, but close to it. Then uh, see what pops out. Hopefully. Some more printed wear, or a bit more, a bit another ginger. I think that might have just been a lucky thing, to be fair. Thought we'd just come in when they bulldozed it back. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you on next bottle. Right, so we've got we've hit clay on two sides now. I've got about a foot through it. It's, it's just clay, solid clay. So I think I bottomed it. Um, it's going to start chipping walls in. Sorry. That's Lighting's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's in my eyes now. Yeah, good start chipping these walls in. See if anything pops out. Um, on the off chance, and then we're done with so. Um I might just go, there's a hole there that's been dug. 
but he's left loads of fresh next to him. So I might just have a quick doing that wall there. That is uh, the way we've dug that all left. Um, and then we'll have to have a plan B because it's only like half 12 and I can't, I can't leave it. Not like that. Um, I'll bring you back if we find anything. So you notice we're back at car now. Um, yeah, we gave it up as a bad day. Well, not a bad day, we had a good day. But just uh, just petered out, just went into a clear bank and the opposite end where I were digging just went into uh, lots of rusty metal buckets and a couple of bins and then nothing else in the ash, so it was just really sparse. We had a little walk about. There's a lot of new fresh uh, bottle diggers holes and they weren't really producing much. So, yeah, done for the day. Um, stick around for the clean-up and... Uh, See how it all see how it all comes out. Hopefully, all alright. And that's about it, really. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you on the cleanup. Welcome back to the cleanup, folks. Right. Uh, this is what we took home. We've had one little mishap, which is that uh, I've just dropped it in the sink, cleaning it, and chipped the neck. Which is an absolute shame because it's a beautiful bottle. Liquazone British Liquazone Company Limited, London EC, made in the USA. So unfortunately, that's going to go in the recycling bin. But look at the colour of it, beautiful. Start with this one next. Tiny little Christmas light. You still hear the bulb inside. It's in there. You can see it. So that would have been like that would have been probably a string and it's lit up, it's like a little cat I think. We a bow would have been painted nicely. You could just see the remnants of the paint. Nice little thing. Next one. Peerless gloss. Made in the USA. Hothaways. Again, really nice early glass. Cleaned up really, really well. Almost like brand new that. Nice little bottle. Then we've got a tiny little pen rest ink. Ridged. Would have had a label there saying the brand. Like these. Always really nice. Always clean up really well. Apart from these corners that you can never get into. But yeah, always look really good when they're clean. <coughs> this one. Balsam of Aniseed and Whorehound. Uh, Skipton. Moore's Chemist, I believe that would have been. So it's a nice local bottle, nice little Skipton bottle. We'll go with this one next. Another little poison. Nice, lovely aqua. Almost like a nice blue aqua, this one. Um, you just see it there, how deep it is on base. Really nice little bottle. I like finding these on other really common, but they was clean up very well. Next one, Adolf Hommel's Hematogen. So this would have contained a quack medicine. I'll try and find some info and put it up here. Nice little bottle, I like the shape of those. Found one, uh, found one the other day but the neck was snapped off so we couldn't take it. Then this one, not to be taken. And again, look how well that's cleaned up. It's almost like brand new. Not a flaw, not a speck. Just really, really clean glass. Really nice clean glass. Beautiful bottle. Lovely, lovely little six ounce. I'm not sure if I've got a six ounce square, so we'll have a look in a minute when I put it on the shelf. And then this one. My very first hand dug. Ginger beer, just that tiny little niggle on the bottom there. But just look how well that's embossed, printed. Anderton, bit of a flow in the print in there, in the uh, foot in the making. That would have been when they cast it. Yeah, really nice. Uh, nice neck on it as well. So, my very first hand dug ginger beer bottle. That's made my day, that. It's probably made my entire month. And I'll be going on top of the shelf. 
All right, so there you go, guys. That's this week's dig. If you like what you say, then like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I'll always get back to them. And uh, yeah, have a good week. I'll see you next time. So we do have a six ounce, but it's a different different design, and that'll be a welcome one. Just go in there.